Hey, what's going on everybody? Are you having issues connecting your GoDaddy domain name with your Adobe portfolio? Well, I was and I found a fix and I'm gonna share that with you today. So you went out and bought yourself a brand new domain name from GoDaddy and you would like to attach it to your Adobe portfolio. Now this should be a relatively simple and straightforward process, but I ran into a roadblock and I would like to share with you guys today a way to fix it. Now normally if you're on your page, you would click the gear icon over here and it brings up the domain name page and you would want to click connect your domain. Now right here, they have provided a unique IP address and this is the address that you're going to want to put into your DNS settings on GoDaddy. So the next step is to add that IP address to your GoDaddy account. Once you're presented with this page, go ahead and click on the DNS. All right, now you will be presented with this records page. Now this is where I made my mistake. So we're going to need to enter in the IP address that Adobe Portfolio provided for us twice. To do that, you're going to click Add. For the type, you're going to select A. For host, you're going to put at and points to the IP address that Adobe provided and hit save. Next, you're going to want to hit add again. And for type, you're going to want to click on A. This time, the host is going to be www and points to is going to be that same IP address and hit save. Now, there's an unexpected error on this because I've already done this, but the problem is, is that by default, there is already an A value and a C name value. We're going to need to delete these in order for ours to stick. So go ahead and click on the default ones. Yours is going to look a little different than mine because I've messed with this. Click on the pencil here and hit delete. Now click this C name www and delete it as well. Now you should be able to head back over to Adobe Portfolio, connect your domain, type in the name of your site, and hit apply. Now the problem I was having was is that I was inputting the IP address, and when I would come back here to put my site name, it came up with an error message. And I dug and dug and dug on the internet until I came up with a response. So I wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope you found it useful. All right, and the final step here is to hit this green Publish Site button if you haven't already. Otherwise, if you go to look this up on a web browser, it's just going to come up with an error message. All right, well, if you found this content useful, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing.